let's say we have three different positions that we want three different red comets to fire simultaneously when we pull the trigger once. Okay, how do we do that? That's known as zipper fire. The Pyro Digital Field Controller has the ability to fire uh, different cues from different addresses within one one hundredth of a second, which is much faster than the human eye can detect, so it appears as though all three red comets are firing simultaneously, even though they're firing one one hundredth of a second apart. You do not program that one one hundredth of a second. The computer does that automatically. So in order to program a zipper fire, there's two things that need to, to be uh, correct. The time must be the same for each of those zipper fire shots, and the pre-fire delay must be zero. Okay, Pre-fire delay must be zero. For example, to do zipper fire on our, let's say our shot number one is our rocket's red glare and we want three red comets to fire from three different addresses which would correspond to three different positions so line one shot one was at ten seconds zero pre-fire delay address three f four so let's say that address three f four corresponds to position three so let's say address 2F4 corresponds to position 2, and address 1F4 corresponds to position 1. So we're going to go ahead and scroll to our second event line, and we're going to start with the shot number. This is still shot 1, so we hit enter. We go to the time. We want the same exact time as the previous event line. So it's going to be 0 frames. 10 seconds, 0 minutes, 0 hours. You can see that it now has the 10 second uh, time identical to the previous event line. Then we scroll over, we want our pre-fire time to be 0, which it is by default. The address is going to be 2F4 since we're talking about position 2. So 2F4, enter. So we have address 2F4 now. Now we're going to go to line 3. We're going to start with shot number again. So shot 1. We're still on shot 1. Time. We want it to be the same time. 0, 0, 10, 0, 0, 0, 0, enter. So we have 0 hours, 0 minutes, 10 seconds, 0 frames. Scroll over again. Pre-fire time 0. New address, this one's going to be 1F4, enter. And our caliber size is going to be 1 again. So now we have three different events, all which will be fired under the zipper fire protocol at three different positions, one one hundredth of a second apart, when you press the trigger once. When you program a zipper fire mode, you have to keep in mind that you can't program more than 40 different event lines for a particular zipper fire event. So, in other words, you can fire up to 40 different addresses simultaneously within that one one hundredth of a second apart from each other, but no more than 40 due to a memory buffer limitation within the field controller. When the field controller fires a shot, it applies a 30 millisecond firing pulse to that particular queue at that particular address and for that reason you can't have more than one queue in a given field module during a zipper fire event because the zipper fire event commands a new address to fire every 10 milliseconds if you apply a new fire command to the same field module even though it's at a different queue in that field module, 10 milliseconds after you gave it the first command to fire, you're not going to give it that full 30 millisecond firing pulse. And for that reason, you can't have more than one queue on a given field module fire in a zipper fire event. 
If you want two shots to fire from the same field module in a zipper fire event, you simply wire those two, de two devices into the same queue so that they both fire from that same queue number.